Set because our kids expect to win. You know what I mean? And, and there's really no other reason. And we make plays down the stretch to stay in it. So um, I'm really, really proud of, of today, and I'm really, really proud of, of those kind of streaks. At that point, I think it was around 20 to 23, 24 for UTSA. You took the time out. What did you say to the kids? Well, I told them we couldn't win by trading points. You know, I mean, we were siding out fine. Our offense was fine, but we just weren't stopped, getting stops. And, you know, down the stretch there, when we got back in it, we blocked a couple balls, blocked the ball right there at the end. And, you know, defense is, defense is going to make or break this team every single night. And, and we weren't great defensively today, but, but showed up very late and made some plays that allowed us to pull it out. I know you said it might not be as fun for a coach, but deep down, you kind of enjoy seeing your team battle. Like well, that. I, you know what? I, I don't enjoy it. That, that's the wrong word, but I am very proud of it. I'm very proud that we have kids that have confidence and we have kids that stay calm and make plays. And you know, that's when you when you win at the level that we've been winning, you have that kind of kid in your program. Because I promise you, I'm not going out next and knowing everybody late in games every night to, to win games. This is about our kids and, and the plays that they make and the, the character that they have and the composure that they have. And uh, over the course of time, that's the only thing that will help you win at a high level. Well, they definitely didn't make it easy for you guys early on. Just kind of talk about some of the things they were doing really well when they came out there. In the well, we just couldn't get them stopped, and they played flawless. I mean, they had that team had. Um, I think it was 45 hitting errors on Friday night against Rice, and they had zero in game one against us. Zero. They played flawlessly. You know, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm still unclear how we won that first set. You know, we just kind of hung around and hung around and hung around. But you know, that is a high error team typically that played flawlessly for the first 25 points. And when we can find a way to win on nights like that, I, I think it says a lot about our kids. Well, speaking of finding a way to win late in games like this, uh, it, do you think that kind of comes back on some of the conditioning and the way you guys work? Practice well, I, you know, I think it's more about mental conditioning than anything else. I think we got kids that have been in big matches, and they're they're not uncomfortable when it gets close. You know, they, they as a matter of fact, a lot of times we're better when it gets tight because it, it raises our level of focus. And um, this one's all about our kids. They 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 made plays when they needed to make them, and um, you know, so we'll move forward and hopefully get five more. No, of course, Alyssa played really well today again, and then uh, I noticed Taylor's kind of stepped up a little bit here lately too. Uh, how uh, how is it for to have kids that can really? Well, Taylor's really Taylor's well. always an unsung hero in this bunch. We got a, a team full of all Americans and all conference players, and you know Taylor has to do the grunt work a lot. She's you know, and she's been up and down throughout the year, but but for the last two three weeks she's been really really good and certainly made a big play right there at the end, being very aware that that setter was dumping that ball uh, and scored that last point for us. So um, very very proud of her. And then lastly, uh, what were some of kind of some of the things you guys are going to work on to get better at in practice this week? I, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but we, we just got to continue to defend better. You know, offensively, we're not super sharp right now and hit 3.56 today, but we're not. I'm just telling you we're not. And, you know, and we just but, – but our kids, you know what we need more than anything else is a break. I think our kids are really worn out. This is hard. This is hard trying to go out and get an at-large bid where you have to be good every single night. We're not just preparing for the conference tournament. We're trying to, to be in that NCAA tournament before that conference tournament ever starts, and it's really hard. It's really hard mentally for our kids, and I think we're pretty worn down. So hopefully we can re-energize this week. If I could just get one more, sorry. But uh, I noticed that one of the players you've really been kind of – talking to a lot lately has been Sydney Engle, but how are your expectations for her kind of rise? Well, you know, again, I, I say this a lot, but Sydney's to me the best volleyball player on our team, and, and when, when things are going poorly, she's a kid that can impact you in so many ways that she's a kid I go to a lot, because if it's a defensive problem, if it's an offensive problem, it's a passing problem, a serving problem, Sydney Engle's a kid that can help you get out of that, and I've learned to lean on her a lot throughout her career.